Hi, I'm Dr. Mike. Welcome to Ask the Doctor. This is the first of four videos about heart health, and today it's all about lab testing. But before we begin, don't forget to hit subscribe, click thumbs up, and ring the bell so you can be notified every time we post a new video. Now, let's get started. All right, so the first one is NMR lipo profile. This is what we call an advanced cholesterol test. You know, your conventional uh, tests are, are good. They just have their limitations. They don't, they don't really dig deep enough into what your true risk for heart disease is. That's where the advanced cholesterol test can, can help out. It's a deeper dive, a deeper look into what your true risk is. Let me give you an example. The conventional test measures the bad cholesterol, right, LDL, and that's all it really does. It's actually not even a measurement, it's an estimation of what it is. Well, the advanced test goes much deeper. It turns out that there's different types of LDL. Now remember, LDL is the truck that carries cholesterol from the liver to the body. The more trucks you have, the greater the chance for congestion, which is what we're calling a clogged artery, let's say. So we want fewer LDLs. Well, the advanced test is a true direct measurement of how many LDL particles you have in your bloodstream. It gives your doctor and you a better assessment of your true risk. And the NMR lipo profile does the same thing for HDL as well. All right, so the next one is apple lipoprotein B. This is a protein that is found on the surface of all atherogenic lipoproteins like LDL, VLDL, and IDL. As a matter of fact, for every LDL that's made, you're gonna have one apple lipoprotein that's stuck on that LDL. So it's a great way to assess what your true atherogenic status is. The greater the number of apple lipoprotein B, the greater your risk for heart disease. Now remember, most of your conventional tests aren't gonna look at this. This is a specific test that you can order to really assess your true atherogenic risk. All right, so the next one up is plaque test. This is measuring an enzyme called phospholipase A2, and it's a measurement of vascular inflammation, which is so important in assessing your risk for heart disease. As a matter of fact, 50% of people that suffer heart attacks have normal cholesterol. And so what's likely happening in these patients is they have a lot of vascular inflammation that those conventional tests aren't catching. So the plaque test is a measurement of the degree of inflammation in your artery. So measuring phospholipase A2 gives you great insight into whether or not you have plaques that are gonna be prone to rupture. All right, so the last one today is called the omega-3 index. This is a test that's gonna look at how many of those good, heart healthy omega-3s you have floating around your body, right? We know they're so good, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, we want more and more and more of the omega-3s. As a matter of fact, a 2020 study in over 135,000 people found that if you take between 400 to 5,500 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA, you could reduce your relative risk of a fatal heart attack by 35%. That's impressive. Now, here's the problem. Most of us today, the Western diet that we eat is loaded in omega-6s, not the omega-3s. We get way more six, not near enough three. So the six to three ratio is very high. That's not good for heart health. We wanna bring that down. How do you do that? Bring down the consumption of six and increase the consumption of the omega-3s. So guess what? The omega-3 index looks exactly at that six three ratio. It's going to help you to determine your true risk for heart disease. And so there you have it, four advanced tests to really assess your heart disease risk. NMR lipo profile, the apple lipoprotein B, the plaque test, and the omega-3 index. Now don't forget, hit subscribe, click thumbs up, and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new video. I'm Dr. Mike. Thanks for watching.